What's going on? Reefing fan March here, Fragbox TV. And this is almost, almost, almost done. If you've been following, this is our new invertebrate system build. All right, all right, all right. Now it's really, really almost done. Uh, quick sidetrack of the day. If you're looking for a tank that is just begging to be turned into a reef tank, we have this beautiful 45 gallon here sitting in the store. It's only 400 bucks. It wants to go home with you. Take him home, throw a sump on it, drill it. It's a really, really nice tank. We used it for like two weeks, but anyways, that's not the point of today's video. So what's going on with this system here? We have uh, water in it, which is nice. One little problem we did have was this tank over here was leaking, but I was able to get in there and silicone the crap out of the leak. I think you can kind of see my crappy silicone job. What else is almost done with it? We got all the silicone in place. The lights are installed, so it's looking pretty clean. Um, just have to figure out what we're gonna do with this bottom space for storage. And the plumbing's all done. The leak's been fixed. We're running, it's kind of messy back here, but I'm gonna enclose all of this with some nice plexi. So it's all gonna be hidden and nice and sleek and sexy. And we got these new baffles installed, which are really cool. So how we made these, I can show you how they work. They kind of go up and down so we can move them around and they're really, really easy to clean. But with pieces of plexi, I basically make these rails. So if you're ever looking to make anything out of um, uh, plastic or plexiglass, this stuff is awesome. It melts plastic together. So I had these laser cut from a friend and I just run a bead of this stuff along here. Do, 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 do. Really, really easy to use. If you ever need help with something like that, come by the store, shoot me an email, I can show you how we do it. But I basically make these rails uh, silicone them to the side glass and then it allows us to use these kind of doors again that were also laser cut as you can see here so it allows um, water f to flow through the top and we get lots of surface skimming and it's good because it also separates all the living animals from one another the other thing I did was add these kind of like price label holders and then we just designed these on the computer with some info of what's in there and so the whole idea behind the system was just to get way more organized and uh, allow us to stock a lot more invertebrates in the system. So they're all going to be kind of organized by row. So these are going to be all the different hermits, all the different shrimp, all the different crabs down here. And then the top row is what we call weird shit. So it's just stuff that we don't get often that is kind of rare, like stuff like this or, you know, just other really, really unusual stuff. But it gives us the room to increase, you know, our overall selection of cleanup crew members and shrimp and all that fun stuff. So there isn't really too much left to do except fill up the bottom row, which is gonna be all uh, mangroves, chato, calerpra, dragon's breath, dragon's nest, all of those kind of cool display algaes that you like to keep in your refuge. So it's just about done, finishing touches, some plexi over here to kind of seal it in. And then that's it, I'll do a last video when it's nice and full, just showing off all the cool invertebrates when it's fully stocked with all that nice stuff and the starfish that we're gonna throw on the bottom, the urchins, weird stuff like horseshoe crabs that we never had the room to stock, just stuff that you really, really never find or see in most local fish stores. That was kind of the goal behind the system and it gives us, I think 70, no more, 80 different compartments of organization just to keep it all kind of in order and keep that stuck stuff um, in stock all the time so you guys can enjoy it. And we do ship this right across Canada. Sadly, only in Canada, we get emails and messages every single day if we can ship to the US. Guys, I wish we could. There's too much paperwork involved. It's very hard for this stuff to cross borders. Um, a little bit easier actually with the hermits and that stuff, but a lot of what we get actually comes from the States. The corals, unfortunately, very tricky to send these things across borders. They're more or less stuck here in Canada. If I could ship them to you, I would. But that's about it for today's video, guys. If you got any questions or comments, please feel free to hit us up. I'll leave our email at the end. Um, we do try our best to respond to everybody. We get a lot, a lot of emails now because of YouTube. But if you bear with us a day or two, we'll normally get back to you. But that's it. Thanks for watching this episode of Fragbox TV.